In the beginning, there was only formless chaos. With balance came heaven and earth. Balance gave way to life, and life found its purpose across the lands. There was peace and order, but beneath the smooth veneer of peace and order, chaos lay in wait, threatening to emerge once again and undo all we created and all we love. Eyes open, little one. Wake up. See the magnificent world the Scar has created. My head. <sighs> Guys? What happened to you? That song. through the sky. The mountain's fractured as well. Is this what create the hole? There has to be other survivors. And that's where the singing's coming from. I've heard of these. Peaches that grow in the gardens of heaven, probably shaken loose in the catastrophe. Soldiers from heaven? But even meaner than before. The goddess Nuwa taught humans how to ferment and distill alcohol here, I think. Things were a lot simpler before all this. I can't be the only one who survived. The you there? Servants of warlords. Well, now they'll serve as target practice.
The Fae are heralds of battle. Miss Rudolph. Unsettling orders. Goddess Nua? Uh, is really you? Uh, what is your name, child? Are you okay? How did you awaken? Goddess, my name is Ku. What happened to my people? The destruction of the Sky Pillar. Bujo Mountain created the scar tarnishing our skies. The chaos energy was too much to bear for God and human alike. He took... everyone? We have to do something. I will. I promise, child. I can undo all of the damage. All it requires is for the balance to be restored. To the way it was before. Goddess, let me come with you. I can help. Hold that thought, child. It is not safe out there. Dangers roam the lands. I must return to the forge and continue my work. You will be safe inside here. In here? Uh, wait, no! This. Ugh, my head. Again. I haven't woken up with a headache in a strange place in years. Ah, youth. Ah, now, where am I? A gateway to heaven? Well, better than being cooped up here. enough to erase gods. Ugh! <sighs> 
These are the secret arts of Heaven's fighters. I feel... I feel lighter, stronger, and... Strangely, a sudden desire to pose. That's... corny, right? <laughs> oh, screw it. Yeah! you happy? What are you? Wings? These might be my way out. for anyone who invested in this prior to the scar, but I'll find some use for it. I think I heard a gust of wind. Huh. This wind flows right out of the temple. <gasps>
Enough sightseeing. I need to focus. The Jammu tree, channeled to heaven. Looks like it's seen better days. An enormous skull of a dragon? Who'd want to kill a dragon? They're amazing! The goddess says something about a forge. There! Found it! How are you feeling? Goddess? How am I hearing you? How are we talking? The bracer on your arm. It's an invention of mine. We can chat from anywhere. And we have unlimited calling time. Uh-huh. I know you have many questions, but... Wait. Where are you? On my way to the forge. Um... Surprise? Child. Just please hurry. Stay safe out there. Shira, used by warriors in service of heaven to become stronger. Also, it's mud. Edible mud. Yum? Almost there. So the goddess watches over us in this huge library. The biggest repository of knowledge in the land. 
Wonder if she's got anything good to eat here. Goddess Nua, I made it. What's next? What's next is you stay out of trouble, child. Goddess, please. The balance will never be restored if you don't let me help. You need me. What I need is to patch up the skies and stop the chaos energy from overtaking us all. Our universe was once pure chaos energy, right? Can we just destroy for good? No. To each thing in this universe, there is a complementary element. Chaos given form and structure led to the balance of heaven above and earth below. With balance came purpose. When I arrived on this world, I saw it as an ideal place for life to flourish. I created all manner of creatures. And eventually, your kind, humankind, only balance made this possible. So, we whip up a tasty dish of balance? And what, toss it into the scar? Representative elements of heaven and of earth fuse together into a purified form. At the top of Bujel Mountain is where the Scar's influence is the strongest. There, I will mend the heavens, seal off the Scar, and return our worlds to as they once were. Sounds simple enough. Simple? There is no game without some sort of sacrifice, child. The farmer who tends his fields to feed his family sacrifices his time spent with them. Sacrifice. Goddess, growing up, I had no one. Only stories of gods, demons, and heroes. I know all of the legends by heart, and I know, I know these heroes would have done everything they could to help. And do you fancy yourself a hero? Not yet, but... I'd like to find out. I suppose if you want to help, we can start small. I'm ready. Please tell me what I should do. Tell you? Child, no! It's time for you to learn through the most efficient educational process known to humankind. Homework and study. Seems Goddess Nua is searching for something? From the sky? A piece of heaven, to be exact. The pieces that fell in Peng Lai, to be precise. Could the element of heaven be a piece of the sky itself? Like a cloud or a rainbow? What? No, don't be silly. Flames of Yan Di, a gift to Earth and a symbol of the Fire Lords of Yan Di clan's might, currently held by the Warlord of the Yan Di, Gong Gong. If he survived that battle in Buzhou, the Lord Gong Gong. Hey. Well, child, what did your studies uncover? With the flames of Yandi and the pieces of the sky, 
We shall craft a magnificent flame sky thing and balance the hell out of the scar. No getting in trouble. No running off to strange places. You keep your distance from those monsters. You remember to call back. Am I clear? Don't think I'll let you go off alone. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This bird will go with you and keep you safe. It's beautiful. Does it have a name? Its name is Jingwei. Oh, stop it. Jingwei is a beautiful name. Anyway, this is a technique I've developed. When using it, your body will become as light as the wind and the leaves. Nice! So, I was thinking of going to the Jangmu tree first. That's where the rainbows in the land always appeared, and you will locate the pieces of the Heavenly Kingdom and bring me back the flames of Yandi. Rainbows won't help. But maybe that dead dragon could hold some clues. They were master of the elements, after all. Child, enough! There are no rainbows left in Peng Lai. Not after the scar appeared. That's impossible. Focus, child. Find the broken pieces of heaven and bring me back the flames of Yandi. Please be careful. Pieces of the Heavenly Kingdom don't work. I'll come back with another solution. Goddess, I heard you created humans by dipping a rope in wet clay and swinging it around real fast. The droplets turn into us. Pay no attention to these unfounded rumors. I crafted each by joy. You and your kind, you were worth it. Found you. Heaven is pretty dirty, and these monsters seem to be attracted to it.
Cool. Did you know your parents? I have faint recollection of them, but that was a long time ago, relatively speaking. Oh, I see. I learned to not take crap from anyone, human or god. Uh, I mean, humans. <laughs> Maybe this piece will be of some use? Goddess Nua, I found a piece of heaven, but it's covered in that stuff. It's corrupted. There must be some that remain untainted. Peng Lai used to be the land of rainbows, right? Maybe those dragons to the east... Child, don't even think of going there. No dragons! Find me more pieces of heaven and hurry back. Okay, okay. Right after I see about a dragon. Everything I've heard about dragons says the elements are at their command. I also heard they're kind of freeloaders. Weird. this big maybe the goddess was right about this place seems like there's nothing here but death whoa a human Keith, come back help what in the who are you why do you need my help well Keith, as a great philosopher once said I'm stuck help me out of this beautifully shaped skull I'm free! That skull smelled like a snake's armpit, man! Thanks a bunch, kid! Hong's the name. Always smart to get on a dragon's good side. You're... a dragon? Obviously. I may not be all in <clears throat> one piece, but I have the power to make your semi-wildest dreams come true. If you're really who you say you are, and you can help me restore the balance to this land. Whoa, whoa. Remember I said semi wildest. What about a rainbow? Can you give me that? Kid, just so happens that rainbows are my specialty. 
We dragons kinda own when it comes to the elements and all that. Uh, awesome! But uh, I'm guessing it's not that simple. First things first. I need to be reunited with my little sis Ni. She completes me. Literally. If you can help a dragon out, get you what you need. The purest form of the heavens. Surely this will be an even bigger help to the goddess. Fine. But you better make good on those promises. You got it. Mind if I hit your right? Oh man. That doesn't feel too good. Looks like the corruption stretches pretty far back. Getting there. Wait, so this is your twin? That means two headed dragon. I knew it. I'm on the right path. Being a dragon must rule. I mean, how did you use all that power? We used our weather power mostly to mess up people's picnics. That's it. The looks on their faces were pure jade. Don't be scared, it's just a boring old human. No offense, kid. Hello, Ni. I'm Ku. The boring old human that freed you. And your brother. This thing? Um, so about that rainbow. You heard of Blazer? Best neighborhood, affordable prices, amazing storms? Sis and I need to energize a bit. And that's the perfect place. <laughs> Home of the dragons? I've always wanted to visit. Uh, let's go right... Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. Where are you? Is everything okay? Are you alright? What's taking you so long? Goddess Nua, I have something great to share with you. I may have a lead on the element of heaven. Oh, okay. Wonderful. 
Hurry back. Noah? Oh crap. And misery in one giant vortex. Huh. No big deal. Wondering, did you know what humans would be like before you created them? No. Each creature I made had their own personality, beyond my control. I had some successes, like dogs, for example. Any duds? Oh, the cockroach. Even now, I have no idea what I was thinking with that one. Kid, did I hear you correctly? You're taking us to Nua, B? New one? Yeah. So? I don't know why, but the sound of her name just makes my ethereal form feel all sorts of tingly. And not in a good way. I found. What took you so long? Did you find the pieces of heaven? I found something even better. Yeah. Uh, two dragon souls. They can bring us a real rainbow. Dragons? And where are they now? Oh, they can't travel too far, so I left them into my body. Hey, you two, come out. You did what? What else did they promise you? These dragons are dangerous, child. You've seen how the chaos affects anything from heaven. Yes, you're right. I've seen the heaven has fallen to the scar, but the sky still stands. Why is this such a difficult choice for you? Do not talk to me about choice, child. There is so much you do not yet understand. I made many hard choices to protect humankind. Sacrifices had to be made. And everything worked out just fine. No regrets. Regrets? I'd make the same choices again in a heartbeat. Everything I did then and do now is for humankind. For you. And now you're just... Why can't you just be safe and stay put? Goddess, there are plenty of people that are staying put. And it's not by choice. I will recover these dragons' power with or without you. Recover? Wait, you don't know. 
Come back, child. What are you gonna do, goddess? Lock me up again. I won't get in your way. Do what you think is necessary. <laughs>